Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking college hoops. Headed to the Big 12 where Baylor is taking on Kansas. We've got a promo code. It's conference her season in college basketball and every team is on upset alert. So the code is upset for 20% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net. The Baylor Bears favored by five on the road. Total of 142. Uh, Baylor, you know, one of the top two teams in the land. Uh, one of the favorites to win it all. Uh, this season when it comes to the NCAA tournament. They are 18-0 and 13-5 and against the number. Meanwhile, Kansas, a little bit of a disappointment, I'd say, just because they're one of the blue bloods of college basketball. 17-8 and this year, 12-11-1 and against the number. We've got Chip Tarimus here uh, to break this one all down for us. Uh, Chip, what stands out to you about these two teams? The head-to-head -head record between these two is what uh... – makes me, piques my interest, shall we say. Kansas has dominated the, the Big 12 for years, and um, now Baylor is the big boy there. Baylor, believe it or not, is 3-14 and 14 straight up against Kansas in the last 17 meetings, and they've only won one time in the last 32 years at Kansas. They're 1-15 and 15 at Kansas straight up. So um, them being a five-point favorite makes, um, raises an eyebrow here. Kansas coming off that overtime loss to Texas. They were lucky to even tie it at the end, and then they, they got beat 75-72 against Texas, at Texas. The under between these two has, has been good 12 out of the last 16 times, but Kansas as an underdog has gone over five of the last six, and Baylor has gone over in their last five. So I'm thinking this game is going to be two great offenses, two great offensive teams that are well coached, good foul shooting teams on both sides. I think this game goes over the total, Chelsea. Well, even if you just look at Baylor's offense, they're averaging 86 yeah. points per game. And I think Kansas, it's been a team that at least has improved a little bit since the start of the season because I know uh, for a while there they weren't covering numbers and they just weren't performing to the level of, right. you know, their brand name. Uh, if you look at last game between these two teams, where was it in my notes? Uh, on January 18th, uh, Baylor won 77 to 69 as eight and a half point Hulk favorites. So I'm wondering if the score is a little closer this time since I, I think Kansas is trending in the right direction. Uh, and then you've got a Baylor who is coming off. But I think it's uh, the Iowa State game that I'm thinking of because they did win that yeah. one. But they were 24-point favorites in that one. And they certainly did not cover and only won by no. five. Uh, any? I know you don't have a strong play uh, on a side here. Any leanings? Well, I have a comment because in the first meeting at Baylor, Baylor was um, an eight-and-a-half-point favorite. And I remember laying the points. And um, they had a dominating lead in the entire game. With the clock running out, Baylor ran out the clock, and with like 2.3 seconds to go, Kansas inbounded the ball, and and one of their players threw a half-court shot that banked in for the cover, and they lost by eight, and that's what I would consider a bad beat. Kansas got the money, though they were totally outplayed, and they got the money on a bat, on a wild shot at the end of the game, where, you know, usually in that situation, if, if the Baylor's going to sit there and, and dribble it out, they didn't bound the ball, and Kansas would just dribble it out as well because they had no chance. They were down 11. But he threw in a wild shot from like 40 feet, banks this in, and if you had Baylor, you got beat with the money, and Kansas was a, a very gracious and happy winner that day against the points, though they lost the game outright, I think, by eight points. That's crazy. Those are the type of beats that you definitely remember <laughs> because they are just so stinking bad. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, and also why you want to get this um, maybe early. I've noticed that in some of these games, uh, you can get a little bit of a, a better number sometimes if you put your money in a little bit earlier before the general public. Uh, right. Sometimes it swings the other other direction, but sometimes you might get a much better number. And sometimes it's the difference between winning and losing. Uh, anything else yeah. you want to add before we wrap it up? No, this should be an interesting matchup. Kansas coming off the overtime loss and their and the actual series record, how they just dominate Baylor and you know just continually beating them like a drum at home. And yet here we have Baylor, the number two team in the nation, the number two scoring team in the nation, a five point favorite. Uh, I'll be interested to see Chelsea by game time if that number moves in which direction. So um, just got to be patient with it, and uh, we'll have to see because this is going to be a great game. This will be a game worth watching. Yeah, for sure. Uh, a, a good one in the Big 12. Uh, great stuff from Chip Turmis, as always. Uh, that's going to do it for us here at Picks and Parlays. Chip, thanks for joining us.